The Toronto Transit Commission, or TTC for short, is the number one largest transit system in all of Canada, and the third largest in North America, after New York City and Mexico City. The system carries 530 million customers every year, and 1.6 million each and every day. Today, we're here at Finch Station, and we're going to be taking a little journey on Line 1 to see the little secrets that you might have missed while traveling. Line 1 is Canada's first subway line and it officially opened on March 30th, 1954 as the Young Subway. Now serving 38 stations with 38.8 kilometers of track, Line 1 is Toronto's busiest subway line carrying over 720,000 passengers each and every day. Our first stop on the line is four stops down from Finch to look at one of Toronto's oldest subway stations, Lawrence. Alright, so to start off our journey, we're going to be going four stops down to Lawrence Station, where I have something to show you there. So our next stop on this journey is just down there, Eglinton Station, the next stop. I have a few things to show you there as well. Eglinton, Eglinton Station. Doors will open on the left. So as you can see, Eglinton is a beautiful station like much of the rest. However, there are a few tiny little details that make it different from the rest of the stations. <laughs> Alright, so this right here is an extra platform. So through these doors is an extra platform. So if these platforms aren't in use or in need of an extra platform, there's a special event platform for buses that provide those kind of services. Alright, so our next stop on our journey here is at Glory Young Station. We see another train passing by us. Young Station, change here for my two. Doors will open on the right. So we're here at Bloriani Station now, the busiest station on the entire network, serving over 400,000 people each and every day. That is quite a lot of people. On January 1st, 1946, there were two lines being voted on by the Toronto residents. The first was the Young Subway, and the other was an East-West line that was supposed to be a streetcar subway. Streetcars would go underground below Queen Street traffic from Trinity Park to Logan Avenue. After the Young Subway opened, the original plan was for Lower Queen were reconsidered. Since then, proposals have come up for the streetcar subway, but it was never taken seriously. Lower Queen Station is a lot shorter than the other stations. It was designed to handle streetcars instead of a full subway train. So this is the underground section. We're just below the platforms at Queen Station. You may not know this, but right behind this door is a secret passageway. There's just like an underground platform, so there's originally going to be streetcars like running underground underneath Queen Station. Oh. 
So we're now here at Union Station, which is the very bottom part of the line one, the yellow line. And you may not know this, but this actually used to be a center platform what we're standing on right now. So basically on this side, there's actually a track for the trains going up to Finch. However, due to lots of crowding and all that kind of stuff, they added a new platform when, the, when they were redesigning all of Union Station. So now, crowding is not as, not as much of a problem as it used to be. So we're, we're just on the end of the Union Station platform here. Take a look at this. It's a signal on the platform. Isn't that cool? And in case you didn't know, double red means stop and stay. While there are no official records to this, or anything to prove this for that matter, when Oscar was built, all the electrical lines and sewers and the pipes were all moved to one side of Queen Street so the other side of Queen Street could be built for underground streetcar platforms so the Queen Streetcars wouldn't get stuck in traffic like they are right now. Edmonton West. Edmonton West Station. Doors will open on the right. So this right here is a little art piece of the old PCC streetcars that used to run regularly on the downtown streetcar services. Uh, it's made by a group, an artist named Gerald Zeldin, and, and it's called Summertime Streetcar. On the other side of the platform is also more of the mural, as you can see. Alright, so Edmonton West Station will be having a name change in 2021 when the Line 5 Edmonton Crosstown opens up to the public. It will be now known as Cedarville Station. Alright, so this here is the Wilson Yard. Wilson Yard consists of two major transportation modes for the TTC, buses and subways. Buses are back there, they have NG hybrids, Nova buses, all that kind of stuff, but here you can actually see it. Look at this TR. There's actually some. It's been tagged. I don't know how they manage that, but. But yeah, this is also another one of the major subway storage areas, I guess you could say, along with Davisville, which we recently saw. And. Alright, so we're here at Shepherd West Station now, the last stop on our journey. But if you look at the tile here, it says Shepherd West, formerly Downsview. So if you can tell from that, this original station's name was actually Downsview Station, and it recently changed back in 2017. And it is done so for the extension, so the trains will keep going down to Vaughan, but there's a stop along the extension called Downsview Park. So they changed the name to Shepherd West so commuters wouldn't be confused with Downsview and Downsview Park. And that, can, that concludes this journey on the Line 1 Secrets video. So that's the wrap for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and or subscribe for more videos and more content. If you have like any requests for videos, maybe you have like a great idea for our YouTube channel, please leave it in the comment section down below, and I'll see you on the next video.